Cup size, take two, camera rolling. Cup size. This is a story about what happens when one follows their dreams and imagination. This is a story about what happens when you follow your heart, guided by intuition. They say there are more nerve endings and neurons in the stomach than in the brain. This is a story about what happens when you follow your gut. What happens is you don't know what will happen. That's the point. To face the adventure courageously without expectation or a clear vision of what lies ahead just over the horizon. Take off. Go for broke. Don't let the door hit you on the way out. Or as the Zen master says, the way out is through the door. Why is it so few people choose this method? Get up and be gone. There are, after all, only two stories. Someone goes on an adventure, a stranger comes to town. So get cracking. This is a story about getting up and crossing a crowded room to meet a stranger. This is a story about falling in love at first sight. Because the greatest love affair of all is the one that we have with the unknown. Dissolve into the mystery. Take chances. Fuck everything up royally. And then just begin again. This is a story about being undaunted. Being the heroine of your own legend. Because what are legends after all? But Stories of ordinary people accomplishing extraordinary feats against impossible odds. All it takes is a little courage and imagination. This is a story about multiple choices and filling in the blanks, about turning over a new leaf. This is not a story about salvation. I don't want to be saved. I just want to be spared, she cried. And yes, when done right, it does hurt a little, sometimes more. But then the greatest gifts lie just beneath your deepest wounds. So make mine a double. This is the story about the long, dark night of the soul, followed by a Hail Mary pass and why a near miss is more appropriately regarded as a near hit. Some confronted by an encounter with the numinous say it's a one in a million chance. I beg to differ. If anything actually happens, I'd say that the odds were one. 